I would like to welcome you to the presentation of our new open source robotic platform called Trifinger. My name is Manuel Wüthrich, and this is joint work with a large number of colleagues here at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Tübingen, Germany. Manual dexterity lies at the very core of many, many human endeavors. One might even argue that it's a key feature of intelligence. Yet, in basic tasks such as sewing or mending clothes, harvesting fruit, building furniture, um, construction work, cooking and cleaning, robots still play a relatively small role. We believe that one reason for this may be that learning dexterity might require lots and lots of experimentation and data. This certainly holds true for human children, which require many years of playing until they achieve a good level of dexterity. However, doing something similar is difficult with existing dexterous robots because they are either expensive, dangerous, fragile, or difficult to use. This makes them unsuitable for autonomous long-term experimentation without any human supervision. For this reason, we developed a novel robotic platform called Trifinger. Both hardware and software are open source, and it is designed such that it can easily be rebuilt. The shells um, are 3D printed, and the other components such as the motors and the electronics are available off the shelf. The total cost of the hardware amounts to about $5,000. It is capable of fine manipulation as well as dynamic motion. The hardware and software design are such that it is essentially unbreakable by the user. Further, we took great care in providing ease of use in our C++ and Python interfaces. Here we show some tasks which illustrate the capabilities of the robot. On the top left, you see the workspace where the joint where the three fingers can uh, operate joint is quite large. On the top right, you see that the platform is capable of dynamic motion. And on the bottom, you see two tasks which illustrate that the platform is capable of fine manipulation. The hardware design is inspired by the human thumb, index finger and middle finger. The main components of the hardware are three fingers with three degrees of freedom each and three cameras which are placed around the platform to ensure good visibility of the object. The mechanics are based on a paper which appeared this year at ICRA by Grimminger et al. The key features of these modules are that they are low in weight, yet they can produce high torque. They allow for torque control at sen and sensing at one kilohertz. Furthermore, they are robust to impacts due to transpar transparency of the transmission. This means that Forces which are applied at the end of factor do not produce large forces on the transmission. Last but not least, the platform can be disassembled and transported compactly. The main consideration for the software design were simplicity and ease of use. Here we see the main components. On the left-hand side, we have the back end, which communicates with the robot. Then in the middle, we have the front end, which provides the interface for the user code. And on the right-hand side, we have the logger, which can log all the experimental data. All of these components communicate through the time series, which lies at the core of our design. The time series consists of observations Y acquired at each time step and actions A executed at each time step. So the only two functions we really need to control the robot is a function which retrieves observations from the time series and the function which appends desired actions to the time series. Synchronization is achieved through the get observation function. In the case where the code attempts to access an observation which lies in the future, this, this function will simply wait until that observation is acquired. So in this control loop, for instance, you see that there is no explicit wait, yet through the get observation function, it will auto automatically synchronize with the robot. In addition, this time series allows to access a whole history of observations and actions. Finally, this interface allows for both real-time as well as non-real-time control. This means, for instance, that simulator and the real robot can be swapped out without any changes in the user code. To conclude, here are the key features of the software design. The software design is such that the user code cannot break the robot. Furthermore, the software is mostly robot agnostic, which means that you can easily implement your own robot using this software. I would like to thank you for your attention, and I hope you will soon be building your own instance of the Trifinger.